Head basketball coach Matt Langle has the number seven seed in the tournament. Colgate is at number two Lehigh on Wednesday at 7 p.m. Uh, coach Langle and Oakland State, please. Uh, first, congratulations to uh, to Bucknell for winning the regular season. I think any team that that wins their regular season league championship uh, should be acknowledged. Uh, obviously, they've got a great coach uh, and, and great players who have been acknowledged by the, the coaches in the league. Um, it, it's been an eye-opening experience for me in my first year as a head coach. I think the Patriot League is full of terrific coaches who have done a good job uh, preparing their teams. That being said, uh, this is a time where coaches are, 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 are trying to be as sharp as they can all year long. Uh, players really focus in at this time of year, and, and obviously the fans uh, really love this time of year. It makes, it makes college basketball such a unique thing. So uh, our guys are, are very excited to, to be in the postseason. Obviously, we've got four seniors, and uh, the next time we lose, we'll be their last last game as a, as a college basketball player. So uh, our sole focus is to try and extend that extend their season as long as we possibly can. Um, Lehigh will be a, a terrific opponent, and uh, we'll, we'll have our hands full for sure. Uh, they've they've uh, taken care of us twice, um, pretty pretty handily uh, on both both occasions. Although we've uh, we've stuck with them for for portions of the game, but uh, it's, it'll be a long game, 40 minutes. We'll have to play our, our best basketball to have a chance uh, to be in the game at the end on on Wednesday night. Okay, questions for Coach Langle. Hey Matt, Tom Housman for the morning call. How are you? Great, Tom. You talk about the I think in both games, one the first time in the first half and the second meeting in the second half where there was a a big run that Lehigh went on to kind of create some space. Anything in particular you looked at in those two runs that uh, are common to the problem in trying to stop Lehigh? Um, they, they've got really good players. Uh, obviously, when you've got the player of the year in, in our league and the last handful of years I, I spent as an assistant coach in the Atlantic 10, uh, C.J. McCollum would be would be as a player right at the top of the of that league uh, as an individual talent. Uh, and he's he's got his hand in in everything that they do on the offensive end and the defensive end, and and he really makes makes their their, their ship run smoothly. Um, he can score at at any time from from any point. But he's also, when your focus is on him, which it has to be for any time he's on the court, it, it loosens things up for, for some of his teammates to make shots, make plays in the post, get themselves to the foul line. Um, you know, they're, they're a team who can score as, as well as anybody in our league, as quickly as anybody in our league. So it'll be, it'll be our task to, to try and take care of the basketball on the offensive end because that's about the only time that the Lehigh group can't score is when they don't have the ball. Thanks, Coach. Matt, uh, Tom Hinkle from the Express Times in Easton. How are you? Great, Tom. Uh, CJ had uh, went off a little bit there the first time uh, you played them at your place. Um, how, how do you prevent that type of thing from happening again? I think that was our, our our first experience with him of the season, and, and he went on a, I think a 12-0 run on his own. Um, the second time uh, down at Stabler, I think they went on an 18-0 run in the second half, around the 10-minute mark left in the game. Uh, he had his hand in that as well, even if he didn't score all the points. Uh, he's he's a great jump shooter uh, who doesn't need any time or space to get it off, and he's got a smoothness to him that he can get his own shot uh, without a screen. So you've got to do a great job of trying to take away that jump shot, and then it's up to the to the rest of the guys on the floor to uh, limit limit his ability to get to the basket. He can go both ways. He, can, he has a mid-range game, and he's, he's very crafty in getting himself to the foul line as well. Um, so all those things go into what, what makes up the, the player of the year. But you've got to try and do your best to contain him, take away the easy shots, and maybe uh, try and force him to shoot and make it as difficult as possible. Any more questions for Matt Langle? For KXB, how are you? Great. Uh, you mentioned the senior class and what a great senior class it was, of course, to be the first year head coach at Colgate. Uh, you need that support from the uh, senior class, and they need to buy into your philosophy. And it seems like they definitely did that. So can you just give us your comments on uh, Nick Pascal, Yao Jalou, Sterling Melville, and Mike Benizia? All four of them have been uh, have been exemplary. It's not an easy thing uh, what they've been asked to do. Guys who have, have played a lot and 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 you know, YG in, in in particular, um, you know, had a couple of injuries, uh, concussion and an ankle injury that really limited his his practice time, which made it even that more difficult. But all, all four guys have been super supportive of of our staff um, from the day we've arrived. They've helped us get to know the university, the community. Um, they've continued to try and push uh, every opportunity they can to make us a better team and 
Um, you know, they're, I feel badly that we haven't been able to win more uh, for them because they're uh, as deserving as, as any group of seniors I've been around.